Retraction settings. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how you can control retraction settings in your prints and what to look for. I'm going to make a model that has six columns with a different distance between them. So we can see the effect it has when um, the columns do not uh, have the exact same distance uh, to each other. Meaning, if you have, if you, if you only have two points that you're going to and from with your printer, you can have a retraction setting that matches that distance. But if you have multiple uh, high points that you're going to switch in between, then that retraction setting is not going to work for all of them. It, you can't pick random starting points. You're going to have to go the same route every time to get the best retraction settings for your print. So we're going to make six columns. They're all going to be five millimeters in diameter. But we're going to pick random starting points and then we're going to see how what route the slicer chooses that the uh, the print head is going to go and then we're going to see the outcome of the print, print with different um, different settings for retractions I'm just having to make these construction lines otherwise it cuts all the circles in half and I guess I could pick the circles two times I just don't want to construction here we go we don't really need to make these super tall we're just gonna make them I'm thinking 30 is enough and from here on out we can see what uh, the print's gonna look like with the different retraction settings if it runs uh, with the random starting points if we picked if we pick the same route every time it might be different so we're gonna we're gonna go with both options and then try and print it and look at the results afterwards it won't let me choose all six for an STL because it, it does not know where they are in relation to each other so I'm gonna have to make a platform they can sit on and I'll just lower that in, into my print bed and I'll just make that uh, two it doesn't really matter it only matters that it makes now it becomes one unit and I can export that into an STL Save, save. I hit the uh, make button. 3D print. Now it's going to let me choose all six of them. So now we're going to put the model into our slicer and try to look at the print preview and see what it says about um, the retraction settings. Since I only want the columns to print, uh, I'm going to drop the platform uh, down below the print bed so that I only print the columns. I'm just going to make the uh, top and bottom layers thin because that's not the point of this video. The outer perimeter shells, I'm going to have them at two, so it just spins around two times. And I'm going to uh, optimize the starting points for the fastest printing speed so that I get the, uh, the same pattern all the time. Since it's ABS I'm printing, I'm going to go with uh, 235 degrees for my nozzle temp. I'm not going to use my fan for any kind of cooling. My first print is not going to have any kind of retraction, uh, just to see what, what it's going to look like. Since this is a, uh, a dual extruder printer, I always have two profiles loaded so I can uh, print with uh, two colors or two different materials if I want to. 
that also means you have to select which one you're going to be using every time <clears throat> you always got to be careful so you don't mix one with the other and accidentally do uh, a raft on one color and or one side and uh, the print on the other and then forget to turn the heater on for for both of them well, here you can see the uh, the red lines or the movement between the uh, the columns and as you go from one to the other the distance is going to be the same uh, what's going to be interesting is to see when it goes from this column to that column because the distance is almost double to see if we get a, uh, a different effect on that side let's load up the print and then we look at it afterwards So this is how the first print came out with absolutely no retractions whatsoever. Now mind you, it, it's printing in ABS, it's printing pretty hot and uh, speed is also pretty high because I didn't want this test to take uh, two weeks, you know. Uh, so uh, the, the stringing is obvious and uh, it's just bad all over the place. Uh, so obviously we know this setting is not going to work, but you can tell there's a difference between the stringing on the short ones and the long ones. Uh, and th that difference is going to become even clearer as we move into the next pictures. The second print uh, is printed with 5mm retraction between, uh, between every stop. And as you can tell, 5mm are pretty good for the uh, two sides where we have a short distance between the, uh, the cylinders. Uh, there's pretty much no stringing and there's uh, no plastic left on the side of the cylinders when it moves uh, across it. But as you go on the longer distance between the two columns there, you see there's some string in on those. So what that means is that you can't have one setting for the whole print. So if you have multiple distances that you have to cover, uh, you're going to have to find the best setting possible. For this one, I would say uh, 5 is pretty good because you got... Um, 60% of the print is, is clean and the, the last 40% uh, you have to clean a little bit but it's more solid to have extra plastic than uh, if you don't have enough plastic. And the third and final test I did was uh, 10 millimeter retraction settings and as you can tell it was just retracting way too much and then you were leaving some of the columns with uh, not enough plastic for, uh, for the, uh, the cylinders to, to form uh, completely. And so that's, that's basically even worse than, the, than having no retractions whatsoever. I mean, you would rather have to clean up a little bit, but still have a solid print versus having this. If it's anything useful you're printing, then it's, it's not going to hold up to any kind of stress whatsoever. So, where does that leave us? Uh, can we draw any conclusions from this test or... Uh, where are we at with the, the whole retraction setting deal? We can't really draw any conclusions. Every print is going to be different. If you only have one high point, you don't really have to worry about uh, contractions, uh, retractions, contractions. Oh, <laughs> gift <Give> me. <laughs> um, if you got multiple high points, you, you're going to have to think about the distance, perhaps do a... Uh, a test print where you lower the print into the bed and only print the two high points uh, just to see where where you land with your uh, retraction settings. If you have multiple high points and you are, are going to speed up your print for some reason, uh, imagine it's a print you've already done but you're going to speed it up this time because you don't want to wait and, and you don't care about the looks. You're going to have to uh, lower the retraction settings as well because the, uh, the time it travels from point A to point B is going to be lower, meaning you're going to need less of a retraction um, and you're only going to hurt the print if you don't have enough plastic in it. Um, most of my prints I, I use in a production environment, so you, you're going to make sure, you're going to want to make sure that they're strong. Um, if you're just printing a, a statue or something, I guess it doesn't really matter. You just want it to look nice. If you're looking at a 15-hour uh, print, I would suggest you do a test print of the, the critical points. Uh, drop your print into the bed and only print uh, a test print of the, the high points where you're worried about the retraction settings. It, it's kind of an important setting because you're either going to get a weak print uh, that looks good or you're going to get a... Uh, 
a terrible looking print that's really strong well you're gonna get or you're gonna get it perfect but that setting is 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 kind of important if you're doing uh, a, a bigger print that uh, that has multiple high points mm -hmm. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe uh, and watch my new content come out. Take care.